Good everyone, you're watching Ready Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your caps lock reversed in your Windows machine. If your caps lock key is working in reverse, typing lowercase when it should be uppercase and be vice versa, this is a common issue that can be resolved with a few simple steps. So here are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now the first step is to go ahead and press Ctrl Shift caps lock key simultaneously this shortcut often resets the caps lock function to normal try this first as it is the fastest resolution now if that doesn't resolve this issue the next step is to go ahead and check if the shift key is stuck a stuck shift key is a frequent cause of reversed caps lock behavior tap both shift keys several times to ensure neither is stuck what you could also do is you can use on-screen keyboard to check if the shift key appears pressed down to do this you will have to open on-screen keyboard there are different ways to open on-screen keyboard one is you can click on the start button and then click on all programs and then under accessibility you will find on-screen keyboard that's one way to open on-screen keyboard. Other way to open on-screen keyboard is in the search box. You can go ahead and type OSK and that should open on-screen keyboard. Once you have the on-screen keyboard, check if the shift key is being pressed. In case if the shift key is being pressed, you would see that the shift key is highlighted. So you will have to press it again to go ahead and uncheck or depress the shift key. Once that is done, you can go ahead and type and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and run the keyboard troubleshooter. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. You can copy the command from my video description and paste it here and then click on OK. That should open the keyboard troubleshooter. Once you have the keyboard troubleshooter, you may go ahead and click on advanced and check the box which says apply repairs automatically and follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen and restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. The next step is to go ahead and disable the filter keys and sticky keys. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on accessibility. Under accessibility, you will have to go ahead and click on keyboard under keyboard, make sure the sticky keys and filter keys options has been toggled off. In case if it has been turned on, make sure it has been toggled off. Close this window and then try to check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and update your keyboard drivers. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you're on the device manager, you will have to go ahead and expand keyboards. Once you're on the keyboards, you will have to go ahead and update the drivers for the keyboard. What you could do is you can, in case if you have more than one option, you can do a right click and then click on update driver and then choose the option which says search automatically for drivers and then click on close. Repeat the same step for other keyboard option do a right click update keyboard search automatically for the drivers and when you are following this step make sure you can also search for the updated drivers on windows update it will take you to the windows update settings check if there are any updates to be installed on the computer in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer go ahead and install those updates and at the same time you can go to the advanced option and then check if there are any optional updates available in case if there are any optional updates av available go ahead and install those updates those optional updates are related to your hardware close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step next method is to go ahead and uncheck the typing assistant option to do this you will have to open control panel so in the search window you may go ahead and type control panel that will give you the best match for the control panel once you have the control panel option you will have to go ahead and click on ease of access center click on it once you're on the ease of access click on make the computer easier to use under this section uncheck all the options which 
under make it easier to type so in case if you have any options which says make easier to make it easier to make sure you go ahead and uncheck all the options once this is done you may go ahead and apply and then click on ok close this window and then try to check if your issue has been resolved so all the steps should definitely resolve this problem in case if you are still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.